I guess we're giving Showdown another try today. By popular opinion. Okay. Before I do anything else, we're going to go to Options and Controls to make sure we have everything down. Allow custom controls to save... Wait, wait, we can do that? That could be nice. Okay. Uh, game... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, no, that doesn't do it. Alright, whatever. Unlockables, what's this? Oh, hey, Nintendo Addict. Your last chance to swing the vote if you want. Oh, oh, these are just the feats. I thought it was like an in-game shop. Actually, no, he... No, Nintendo Addict, you're too late to vote. That's, that's why you show up on time. Alright. Story targets practice. Let's try story again. Okay. So we can play as any of the main heroes. We can play as Shield Knight, Black Knight. We're not doing Polar Knight again. He had his chance. We could try Propeller Knight. Should I play as a character we haven't played as before? Or should I play as one of the characters I am used to so I actually have a shot? You were going to say Showdown anyways. Okay. <laughs> If people have a preference for who to use, not Polar Knight, I'm also open to that. New character. Okay, if it's new character, I'd probably aim for either Shield Knight or Propeller Knight. Because I feel like Black Knight it might just be a carbon copy of Shovel Knight. Although, admittedly, with a different armor setup. You know what? Let's try Propeller Knight. Uh, how difficult... Man, after last time, I'm compelled to select easy mode, honestly, but no. My pride won't allow it. Does he get a different story than Polar Knight does? All was not well at the Tower of Fate. A terrible truth had been revealed. Or, I'm sorry, I, I, you know, I need to do the narrative voice. All was not well at the Tower of Fate. A terrible truth had been revealed. Spectre Knight stormed off, filled with rage at the Enchantress. Their final battle was imminent. This is thus far exactly the same. The residents of the tower gathered. They boldly decided to rebel and help their friend. Well, they didn't help me out at all last time. Hastily, they hatched a plan to modify the magic mirror. Perhaps they could trap the enchantress inside. With the preparations complete, the ramshackle contraption sprang to life. Yeah, all this is the same thus far. But the end might be different if we play as Propeller Knight. But something went terribly wrong! We didn't face Mona at all in the duels, so why is she appearing here? <laughs> that, that, that is something horribly wrong. Propeller Knight staggered as he awoke. Oh, where am I? My head is spinning! His precious flying machine was nowhere to be found. He'd no memory how he'd gotten here. Must have been a wild night! And it looked to get even wilder! Well, that's why we don't drink too much juice, all right? Yaw, Plague Knight show so shy. All right, first up, we got Plague Knight. Cool! Coliseum, Morningstar Arena, Treasure Clash. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, just uh, collect six gems to win, all right. I also gotta remind myself of the controls. Okay, moves list. So, the bumpers are parry, jump, yeah, double jump. Oh, you can press it while in the air. You can corkscrew kick by doing an attack while moving down in the air. You can glide by holding A in the air. Saber strike is hold, and then saber strike you can release during saber guard. This sounds weird. We'll try it. Thus far, he's a lot more mobile than, uh... than Polar Knight was. Oh yeah, thus far he controls a lot better than Polar Knight. Interesting. Oh, bye Plague Knight. 
Is it just me, or is the AI acting a lot less aggressive than they were against Polar Knight? Well, we also know it's the beginning, so this is where we're at the easiest. Bye-bye! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> Correct. Parries don't inflict damage, which is nice, since they parry a lot of stuff. Age 2 Double Shovel Knight. And it's showdown mode. Alright, I gotta kill both of them. Yay. Let's see how let's see Plague Knight's combat prowess. Okay. Thus far, they parry everything. Yeah, they, they're parrying everything. Do I have to trick them off a cliff again? Oh man, Propeller Knight has no reach, though. Like, none. There we go. Oh, wait, I can also push things around. Hmm. That's good to know. Oh, I can use that to get some cheeky kills, probably. Yeah! <laughs> okay, Propeller Knight, in terms of actually killing other players, is going to be tricky to use. But for the gem challenges, it seems like he's pretty good. Oh, what? Why are you here, too? I thought it was just me. Are you harmed? Only my pride, haha! <laughs> and only for a moment, until I found my beautiful flying machine. Hmm, that could be used to get us both home. I think I'll join you. Do you have a plan? Worry not, I definitely have a plan. A foolproof one, my petite friend. Now don't dally, we have a flight to catch. Oh sweet, he's on our team! In the fl- oh no, not the flying machine. But at least it's a treasure clash. Collect seven jump to win. I wonder if we win, will we unlock Tinker Knight as a character? Since he's helping us out right now? Oh, dude. <laughs> King Knight was crying. No! That was my turkey dinner! One thing I'm noticing that's very nice... Oh, no, not a birder. One thing I've noticed that's nice is that as as Propeller Knight, you can kind of hold your attack... You can charge your attack. So if you think they're going to parry, you can, like, hold it in place, wait for their parry to wear off, and then attack them again. I'm not sure why King Knight just fell off a cliff for no reason. <laughs> well, Shovel Knight's an assist trophy in Smash Bros, and a good one at that, so... So, so far, so good for, for Propeller Knight. Now it's time for the Black Knight, Plague Knight, and, Tr and Shovel Knight at the Tropple Grotto. Big hits! Okay. Collect five gems to win. So much for big hits. Thankfully, they're not all on a team against me. It's a free-for-all. Oh my gosh, Black Knight means business. Okay, Black Knight is not just a carbon copy of Shovel Knight. That much is certain, because he's making his own 
giant Giga Blasts. Rats. Died right at the wrong time. I also gotta remember, I can hover. Wait, wait! I absolutely had five gems, though! I don't know why I didn't win. I had five gems. There we go. I know I drop a gem if I die, but I still would have had five gems. Oh well. We win anyways, which is good. We need like all of our lives for the final boss. Oh cool, Percy's targets. This one might be tougher without Polar Knight, though. Actually, no, this one's going to be a lot tougher with our short reach. Although, Percy's battle theme is amazing. Oh, that's bad. Thank goodness for the double jump, though. Oh, am I supposed to defeat Percy to hit another target? If so, that was a whoopsie. Okay, don't hit the bombs. I thought that was like a, if you hit the bombs, you get extra points. Brrrr! <laughs> I feel bad killing Percy. He's such a... He's, so, he's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> okay. That's bad. Percy! I've got a bomb in me pants! How many points do we have to get? Okay. Wait, well, how did I not hit the glowy one? I gotta keep extending my time. Oh, how... D okay, I... I don't understand how I'm not hitting some of these targets. I got an extension of my time. Ugh. Ugh. Worth it. Ugh. How many more points do I need? Percy! That's bad. I just got a bunch of points and it still wasn't enough. I'm still extending my time, though. Is freaking Percy's targets gonna end up being one of the tougher challenges for Propeller Knight? Because <laughs> this was basically free as Polar Knight. I didn't know how to play at all, and I did it first try. How did I not hit... The okay, the hitbox on the glowy ones must be smaller.
Yay! I love the darkness. Somewhere Xehanort is hearing that with great admiration. How did I not get enough points? <laughs> I destroyed so many targets. I don't, I have fewer lives than Polar Knight had, don't I? Didn't Polar Knight have like seven? Or did he also have five? Maybe if I don't miss so many of the glowy ones this time around, I'll destroy more. Oh, and I'm getting the score multipliers this time around. That'll also be important for my success. Wow! Either your, scare, either your score carries over from the first time, or... Okay. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> there we go! Pull grassy clearing, hurricane in the plains. Yay! Oh, no, not shield knight. So no bottomless pits. Oh, it's great, but there's wind. Oh no, it's like Shine Thief. If you break it, you don't necessarily get it. I'll just let them keep beating themselves up. Although I could use a Thanksgiving turkey right about now. No, I lose a gem. Wait, I lost two gems. Why? Oh, Key Knight's about to die. This is chaos. This stage is so small for four players. No, the wind! Sudden death? Oh, did time run out? Thanks, Blake Knight! <laughs> this victory feels hollow. Nah, I'll take any victory. Oh, now I go up against two Polar Knights and the Black Knight on Pride More Keep. Okay, then. Collect seven gems to win. Oh, wow. Oh, they're all on the same team? Sure, because that's fair. Wait, how did he do the Shovel Scoop dash attack? Is that one of those secret moves that I don't know about? Seems the strategy for this one is just use. Oh, c why can you not pick up gems if you have invincibility frames? That I don't like that. They just pull themselves up.
There we go! Wow, considering they were all on a team, they were not working very well together. Nice! Well, thus far, Showdown's becoming is a lot easier with uh, Propeller Knight. Thus far, but now, oh boy, now we've got to go up against the Order of No Corner. This is not going to be fun. Oh no! Actually, let's see if we can use this to our advantage. Because, as you know, we have a, a superpower. And thus far, they're doing a pretty good job of just throwing themselves into the lava bath, so I think we should help them. Okay, Mole Knight, as is fitting because it's his course, is having a hard time actually going after us. Dang, Mole Knight is, like, invincible. Never mind. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> come over here, Plague Knight. Fine, I'll come to you! Skadoosh. <laughs> Finish ten matches in any stage with lava in a pit without falling. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Propeller Knight was that was way easier to do with Propeller Knight than Polar Knight. Just push enemies into the off <laughs> into the instant death stuff. Our chance to escape draws close. The flying machine can't be fought off. Get in gear. Wait. It seems like we're dead lost, and you did not think this through. When you said you had a plan, did you lie to me? Perhaps I fly by the seat of my pants, but I'm making the best of misfortune, not spinning my wheels. I didn't see you offering any ideas from your hiding place over there. You did not ask, you just talked, like you still do right now. But no more from you, I've had it! Ready? Oh, there's instant death. You guys know what that means. Uh-oh. Actually, maybe that, maybe that won't work if he can fly. Oh, we can damage him with our propeller. Wow. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Oh man, okay, I picked the right choice being propeller knight. Wow! Wrecked! <laughs> I get to turn the power of those stupid jerk butt <laughs> propeller enemies against the- Oh, that feels good. <laughs> but now we have the real challenge. We gotta get 15 gems before the mirror, and I hate the mirror boss. Yeah, evil mirror is bad fight. But we are a smaller target, so maybe it'll be easier. not a great start. Oh, that's right, the phantoms. But maybe we can still push them around. And thankfully they have reduced HP. Oh no! There's too much stuff. I don't see how this is possible. Like, half the screen is just filled up with instant death projectiles. How did he not die? It blew him up, too. Like, I can't move across the screen without taking damage. Also, you did not get a gem. You only sucked in, like, five of them. Okay, if you have to fight the mirror as the final boss for every single one, then I'm not doing Showdown again. Because this is a completely not fair fight. 
more than half the screen is just filled up with instant death by the end of it, and you all of it deals extra damage to you, so you just you can't get through it. Wait, um, what? The mirror didn't pick that up, though. Also, when you die, the mirror just gets your gems, but you, once the mirror gets gems, you can never take them back. The mirror also... And you can't get stuff while you're taking damage, either. And towards the end, when literally everything is attacking you, you literally just can't grab anything. I would love to know how the developers intended you to do this fight, because it really just doesn't seem possible. Like, look at that. You drop two gems, they, the mirror just instantly eats them both. You can never get the gems back. It's, like, impossible to stop the mirror from taking the gems in the first place. Like, look at that! You can't stop it! Attacking the mirror's eyes? I'll try it, just because... I'll try anything, but because my current strategy does not seem to be possible. Okay, parry the pink blasts. That seems to work. How was I supposed to avoid that? Also, I just took two hits without getting invincibility frames. It would help if the mirror lost gems when you defeated the phantoms. Yeah, I'm not going over to that side. What killed- I literally parried at the right time. Excuse me? I was on top of the gem! Excuse me, I won that round. I was literally on the gem when it spawned. Unless it spawned a food item or something. This is very, a very poorly designed fight. Alright, thus far we're doing great. I 
I had to say it. I'm sorry, did the gem just turn into a bomb? Like, literally in the span of two seconds, you can go from, you can go from 10 to 0 to like, oh, now it's 10-10. Because anything that get, touches the enemy gems will give it to the enemy. It's like, oh, the game spawned a gem, and the the mirror just got it for no reason. This is ridiculous. Yeah, his if his projectiles hit the gems, he gets the gems. If he sucks the gems in, he gets the gems. If one of like the other knights that come and get the gem hit the gem, he gets the gem. You can never make him lose gems once he has them, and you both have to get 15. And you lose gems if you die, and you die like immediately later on. Parrying does help in this fight, though. Yeah, take that. You have to kill the phantoms because they can pick up the gems. Okay, that was really good. <laughs> there better not be a second phase. There's gonna be a freaking second phase, isn't there? Defeat the boss. Glad I didn't die at all. What on earth? Oh no. No, no! Oh! You've gotta be kidding me. Oh sure, let's spawn in the phantoms, because that's fair. You freaking dolt. What? I did not say to do- Oh, I'm ticked. You said it was a freaking gem rush, and now you have to start all of Showdown. I hate Showdown. New state. I don't care if there's a new stage unlocked. All the stages in this stink. Alright, well. I gave, Sho I gave Showdown a second chance, and I shouldn't have. It, it's a bad mode. Alright, let's go back to... Good old Shovel Knight, and see if we can get some extra feats. Okay, one of them is defeating enemy with the Flare Rod from really far away, as well as using our Alchemy Coin a bunch. Um... Honest? Hmm. That's true. Once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad, but the final boss is ridiculously unfair. Okay. Ooh, alright, so there's a beetle way over there. Darn it. Okay, uh, the screen's not scrolling fast enough. If the screen scrolled faster, then I would be able to do that. Shoot, that was my chance, I think. Oh, cool. Okay, let's try this. That was not 20 blocks away? Do 
Jeez, what do you expect? This, like, I feel like the screen's not gonna scroll fast enough for me to kill anything farther away than that. How did that not give me the feet? Destroy five enemies within using chaos, whatever. Hate in the air for more. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, bounce it five times in a row. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Let's try that again. I thought it was only three times in a row. Excuse me? I don't want. ANY PROGRAMS TO INTERRUPT WHAT I AM DOING WHILE I AM STREAMING, AND I DID NOT GIVE YOU PERMISSION TO DO THAT. CURSE YOU GOLD ARMOR, YOU WERE SUPPOSED TO JUST STAY PUT. I still have no idea how I'm gonna do the flare rod one, though. 25, like, literally, it'll scroll off screen before we can move fast enough. Okay, maybe we can try it in a room like this. Oh, that counted? I hit enemies from farther away than that, but cool, I'll take it. Whatever feats are there. Uh, don't collect any gold for an entire order. No quarter stage. Finish off the Black Knight with a reflected shot. Okay, we can do that one as well. Beat the game without collecting relic. Yeah, 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 whatever. You run over five enemies using the same mobile gear. Defeat three enemies using the propeller dagger without touching the ground. Defeat three enemies with one throwing anchor. Ooh. Maybe we could find that on this level. Three enemies with a single throwing anchor, huh? Well, I bet there are some weak rat enemies on here somewhere. Ooh. If only. So we just gotta keep our look or our eyes peeled. Yes! Okay, I bet we could do it here. Booyah! I bet we could do something similar with uh, the chaos orb in this room. Beautiful. Nice. I think the Dust Knuckles ones we're going to have to go to a different level. There we go. We can return to the map. We're going to go back to the plains and defeat the Black Knight here. And also, maybe we can Dust Knuckle. Or Propeller Dagger. The Propeller Dagger one, and maybe the mobile gear we can do on this level. Actually, I'm not sure how many air enemies there are going to be on this level. So maybe we won't be able to do the propeller dagger, but we, we can keep our eyes peeled. Welcome back, Arus. No, I'm not doing speedruns, I'm doing various achievements. So right now we're off to defeat the Black Knight by using a reflected shot. And if we can, we also want to defeat three or more enemies with the Propeller Dagger without touching the ground. It would also be nice to, um... 
Oh, I already forgot the other one. Pick up gold with the phase locket that's on spikes. As well as running over five enemies with a single mobile gear. Also, I'm not sure why I'm wearing the blue Shovel Knight armor when it's the worst armor. Okay, if we play our cards right here, we might be able to defeat a bunch of the... Okay, I don't want to kill the bots. Just want to reveal a bunch of them. Are there only three? There's only three. Curses, so we can't mobile gear over them. Yeah, there's just not enough enemies on this stage. That's okay, there are plenty of other stages. Oh, this might be our chance. Nope. Again, not enough air enemies. Oh, we shoot! Oh, shoot! We could have done the propeller dagger on Pride More Keep as well, because they're all the flying rats. I'm trying to figure out where we could mobile gear. Well, we could try it here. Oh, it doesn't go off screen, though. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Now we just have to wait for him to shoot a projectile at us. We need to wait for him to shoot a projectile at us and actually successfully reflect it back. There we go. <laughs> You're fired. I like the achievements in this. They're fun. Okay, now where can we go to run over a bunch of guys with our mobile gear? Maybe the Lich Yard? There are a lot of the frogs, but there's also a lot of pits. Hmm. At the very least, let's go to Primor Keep and see if we can beat it without touching any gold. And we can also get the Propeller Dagger one here. We can also combine this with beating King Knight without taking damage, even though I thought we already did that. Alright, we wait for the Pearl to disappear. <laughs> One five. Yes, that is my money, current money count. So that better not go up for the entirety of the stage. Wait a second, guys. We have the phase locket. We don't even have to damage tank the enemies. We also have to be careful because there are banners on this level that love to hide gold behind them, like those banners there. So we do not want to go behind those.
No! Well, okay, that literally bounced into me. So, we're gonna go in, we're gonna get the Propeller Dagger reward, and then we can leave. Because I'm pretty sure if we die and respawn at the checkpoint, it's still going to count that we picked up money, so... Okay, yeah, this room. Flying feet! Okay, I wonder if we could do this... I wonder if we could cheese that room with the mobile gear as well. Like, if they all move at the right area... If they're all close enough to the ground, we might actually be able to make this work. Oh yeah, this is... yes. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, sweet. We did, like, all of that on King Knight stage, so... Finish the game... Finish any stage without taking damage. We can combine that with the money one. Finish the game without dying, that we have to do that separately. Finish the game without... Yeah, you know, we have to do that separately. Separately. Destroy the checkpoints. We'll combine that with doing that without dying. Uh, we still have to pick up money using the phase locket on spikes. I'll have to think of a level that we can do that on. Oh, and we still have to do the dust knuckles. Otherwise, though... Cool. Okay, let's let's try that again. Let's try to do... We don't get any gold. We don't take damage. And we don't take damage against King Knight. Let's try all of that. I'm not sure if it's possible to avoid collecting gold on every stage. But it is on most of them. Okay, the bottom block does not drop a pearl. We also gotta be careful, we don't want to take damage. Come on, disappear, come on, disappear. Thank you. That rat was getting dangerously close, and I really don't want to waste my phase locket if I don't have to. Because when we're not defeating enemies... We aren't getting nearly as much mana. This might be a mistake combining the no damage and no gold together. If we take damage, then we take damage. It's more important to me that we avoid grabbing gold. I'm gonna kill the beetle early this time. Oh man! We could combine that with the phase locket. X dude, awesome! Welcome! It's been a while. How are you doing, man? You you've joined the cool part of the stream where we're actually doing a lot of the fancy pantsy achievements. We're trying to get through this stage without taking damage and without picking up any gold. It's trickier than it looks, because there's gold hiding behind these banners. Whew. Thank you, Phase Locket. I'm being super paranoid because I know there's gold all over the place behind those banners. I don't trust that. I'm going to wait for the emerald to disappear. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, by the way, I think the link you posted to your Discord X dude in my Discord expired before I actually got a chance to join. Oh, rats, we took damage. Oh, well, that's fine. I think Discord links by default expire after, like, 24 hours, which is a little weird. Alright, we just gotta avoid picking up the money now.
Darn it, we were close, too. We almost got through it without. But here we go. Hey, King Knight. Eh, you can kill me. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna take forever to die to King Knight, though. You can try. I've set it up so that only friends can DM me because I had s spam bots uh, emailing me. Yeah, it's. I think Discord by default has it set so, like, after 24 hours, your link expires. And the reason is. If you post a link somewhere, they didn't want it to be like, why are all, how are all these people finding my server if you forgot about it? It just makes it a pain to invite a bunch of people. Oh, shoot. Is it going to count as me picking up gold? If I recover my lost gold, is that actually going to count as me picking up gold? It better not. I bet it's going to, though. All because it wouldn't let me phase lock it in time. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad! I am so bad. Why am I not using relics to speed this up? I'm using... Gosh, I am. That is a freaking long name, but welcome, Thomas. <laughs> that name is so long, it actually broke my chat window. I have to scroll just to see it all. <laughs> okay, guys, vote. Will the game give me the achievement? For not picking up gold, even though I picked up my own gold that I lost. Even though it's not new gold. I have a feeling it's not going to give it to me. It's just its just a hunch that I have. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it will. Okay. I bet Propeller Dagger is going to speed this fight up. Go. <laughs> Where's my achievement for beating him without taking damage? And, wait, I didn't get any? I'm sorry, why did I not get any achievement? I should have at the very least gotten the one for not. Okay, I didn't, I apparently did collect gold. Oh, what the... Oh, I did... It's because it's for the whole... Great. Okay. Well. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can again combine no damage with no treasure. This is one of the trickier achievements, so... I don't trust that. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to jump over that without collecting it. <laughs> that was risky. I'm sure glad that that was mana inside that and not treasure. I mean, you can if... You can post that? I'm just not sure... If there's someone who missed the Discord invite that wanted to join, then yeah, you can feel free to post that again. Self-promo is for, well, self-promo.
Thank you, Face Locket. Alright, don't let the goal increase, don't let the health run out. That checkpoint was, like, right after a different checkpoint. <laughs> that was unnecessarily risky. I easily could have landed on the beetle. I still think this is a good achievement, though. Because it is definitely forcing me to play the level differently. Uh. Potentially, yes. <laughs> I don't want to pogo off these guys, because there's a good chance that they would drop the gem and it would fly up right into me, so... Just gonna take it slow, until I get to King Knight, and then I spam Propeller Dagger. I'm so tempted to do stupid stuff like pogo on the dinner plate while we wait, but then I also realized that there's a chance that that could go awry, so... Cool. We can fall down here. Be very wary of the banners. Be very, very wary! <laughs> Well, impatience is one of my uh, weaknesses at times. Oftentimes, like, I have the skills to do something, but just I I try to take things too quickly, and I end up making simple mistakes because of that. It's just all about knowing yourself. And there we go! We are good on that. If we end up taking damage from King Knight... If we end up taking damage from King Knight, then we'll just finish the fight. Yay! <laughs> no damage and dirt pour, yes! Ah! <laughs> okay, we still need to Dust Knuckle and Phase Lock it, though. We can certainly finish those. Alright, for Dust Knuckles... Honestly, Iron Whale might be our best bet, or a Lost City. Let's try Lost City. Because there's a lot of dirt. That should be the <laughs> canonical ending to King of Cards. Dirt poor, yeah. <laughs> Well done. Oh, this this room has potential. Okay. Let's try to take out the fire guys. Fire guy first. Rats. Okay, no. There are plenty of other blocks in other parts of the level, so... I think the Lich Yard had... I'm trying to remember what level has a lot of spikes with treasure on it. Or maybe it's a case of, like, I... Actually, it might be Treasure Knight. Fittingly, of course. Get out of here, birder! I'm the birder! I'm here with my 8,000 HP! Oh, yeah, we might be able to do something here. Nope. They're spaced too far apart. Oh, 
Or maybe it would be something in the Tower of Fate, to be honest. Dust Knuckles are weird. And it only, it only pr suspends our height if we're breaking through dirt blocks. Otherwise, I could just spam it from a really high up place. Ow! Stupid birders. Alright, over here... I don't think there are any dirt blocks in that room. Such a shame these blocks blow up so quickly. Not quite. If I space the Dust Knuckles out a bit more, can I do it in this room? It's possible. Nope. If I even come... Maybe on the top one? No. Huh. See, some of these feats are a little puzzling, but I, I like that. I like going through the game and kind of keeping your eyes peeled for stuff like this. It's cool. A boing? Okay, I might have to go to the Iron Whale. The Iron Whale, I know for a fact, has a lot of the dirt blocks. Also, I love how one little gooey ball makes the entire lava turn into goo. I'm still holding out... Ouch. I was gonna say, I'm still holding out hope for the final stag ride. Because Final Stag Ride has a lot of dirt in it. But I need a lot of dirt in a row. Because I... Oh, wait. No, I think I think I know. I think I know where I'm going to find it. The very end of the Treasure Knight stage. There's that uh, long, long missile ride. With a bunch of dirt. Ow, why did I do that? Okay, no, actually, I don't think we're gonna find it in this stage. And I think Iron Whale will also have a lot of spikes for us to phase lock at treasure off of. Oh, yeah. So we're not going to get the achievement in this room, so we can just carry on, but yeah, there's a lot of dirt. Oh, and with the low gravity with the uh, water. Could also be an extra. Darn it! Blah! I am... I've discovered, folks, I'm not good at Shovel Knight. <laughs> I am mediocre at best. So I don't even know why I'm doing a... wet stream of it. Oh, will you just die? Okay, nothing even worthwhile up there. Okay, now we get to the spike rooms.
only this room had more gold. But when we get to the rooms where there are enemies and spikes, that's where we can, like, defeat the enemies, knock the gold on the spikes, and then phase lock it to get it off. Ooh! Darn it! Hey, Mobius! Yar! This be the colorful RT video. That's not the phase locket. Right in my black heart. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, let's actually equip the phase locket this time. It's like that time we played Among Us and I was a pirate the whole time. That was risky. Okay, I'm pretty sure... Weird voice? Ooh, is it time for a weird voice? Is it time for pirate RT? Yeah. We be going to the Iron Whale today. Ooh, I wonder. This could be best case scenario. Because we got bags of gold near the spikes. <laughs> we cheesed it real hard, that and <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's the intended way of doing it, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that we're filthy stinking rich. Now we just gotta keep our eyes peeled for a lot of dirt in a row. Oh, hum the two yar! Tis the beast that swallowed me leg. We'd best be a running. <laughs> if you ever wondered why pirates have peg legs, it's cause of this old beast right here. Yar, thank goodness for this here propeller dagger. No! Dead men tell no tale. I don't even know if we're gonna find the blocks here. Wait, oh! Because we... wait. Um... I think we may have glitched the game right here. <laughs> We killed the anglerfish, but he killed us at the same time, so now we go through the angler's room, but we don't actually have to defeat him? I have never seen this before in all me days. So long, me treasure. Now, where are we gonna find some dirt all in a row? Yar! Why do the missiles always be lining up just the wrong way whenever I enter that screen? There we go, finally. Rut row, Raggy. That is so precise to actually ride the missile through there. Oh, this might be the room. If memory serves, there's a lot of dirt in this room. 
by that I mean there's at least two blocks. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Exactly. Oh, also. <laughs> I won't spoil it. But there's going to be a very funny video involving I'm going to put some dirt in your eye coming to my channel in the very near future. It's a very satisfying video. Oh, wait, is that it? I thought there was going to be a lot more than that. Okay. You gotta go. Is this the room with the dirt? That don't, room don't even have no dirt. Now this... Now that is room with a lot of dirt. Oh wait, this is the room I was... Oh, but there's no dirt here. Why did I think there was dirt here? There's no dirt here! Okay. Explodatorium has a good amount of dirt. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. Tower of Fate 2 has a lot of dirt as well, but I really don't want to go back there, if I can help it. There's a lot of dirt there, but I don't know if that would count as, uh... Yeah, I'm standing on the ground while I'm doing that, so... This is a tough achievement! Especially since the rats blow stuff up. And I don't want them to blow this up. There's gonna- there's gotta be dirt somewhere. There's got to be. There we- oh, okay. No, 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 we gotta kill him before he destroys all the dirt. Okay. If we play our cards right... Okay. play our cards right here, we might be able. That did not work out. Can I get a do-over on that room? Nope. Oh, that guy was hovering in midair, though. That was funny. That was humor. Aye, aye, Captain Crunch! Thank you, Glitch! That was a glitch that allowed me to jump there. And I'm grateful for it. Okay, there's gotta... Where's my dirt? I want to put some dirt in your eye. I don't think that's asking for too much.
I really don't want to look this up. Because I'm sure there's a place where people are like, oh, just go here. That was dumb. I There was spikes literally right there. Oh, what's the show that's the most overrated? SpongeBob SquarePants. Daily reminder, people, that overrated doesn't necessarily mean bad. Also, while I have seen a handful of the Spongebob episodes that were good, most of them were very dumb. And when I say very dumb, I mean, like, I lost IQ points. Dumb. Oh, I wonder if we could get a bunch of the rocks in there. So, I want to ask a question, folks. If there is a show that had a small handful of, like, unbelievably amazing, like, some of the best television ever, but most of its episodes are absolute garbage, is that a good show? I would argue no. Because the average episode would be very bad. Like, for a similar example, I have heard many people say that, like, The Simpsons was really great for the first couple seasons. It's now on, like, season 30-something, I think? And pretty much everyone agrees that, like, all of the seasons after the movie sucked. Is The Simpsons still a good show? And for the same reason why I think that, like, because Arthur went on for so long, it's not nearly as good as it would be if it had ended earlier. I still think it was a good show, because it was still, like, a good kid show for most of its running, even if it wasn't up to its normal quality. But it wasn't, like, face-meltingly bad. I'll leave Scrooge's lucky first dime. I hate the freaking Robo-Rabbits. Okay, no, Family Guy was never good. Then again, Family Guy is also not my style of show at all, so... Take that with a grain of salt. Okay, can we get some dirt, please? We get dirt in this room, but it's not okay. enough. Why would I want to watch a show about a guy who's just an absolutely terrible person with rude humor? Oh, this is the room. This is the room. Yeah, we're gonna get it done. In here. We're gonna get it done in here. Yeah, look at all these dirt blocks in a row. Yeah, okay, watch this. Okay, well... No, you can't destroy-
Or... Mm. I mean, Family Guy was certainly better than American Dad, but that's also, like, the lowest bar. I will never, I will never, ever understand how American Dad became popular. Oh wait, yes I can, because American audiences like stupid things. No, you can't do that. I even hit him too. Those cutaway jokes, though, could be done in literally any show. Like, it is not Family Guy's characters or settings that allow those jokes to happen. Alright. There we go. Okay, now hopefully we don't screw it up this time. Knuckle down! <laughs> Bear down for midterms! Bob's Burgers is another show I can't really get behind. I saw the... Well, maybe, maybe it's just a case of the pilot episode is not the best. I saw the pilot, I'm just like, this was not funny. So may, maybe it is a case of like, well, the pilot just, you know, it has to introduce the show, so it's not the best. But, if you stick with it, it gets a lot better, because a lot of shows are like that. But then I also talk to my brothers who watched a lot of Bob's Burgers, and they're like, Oh no, the pilot is kind of, kind of summarizes what the show's all about, and kind of illustrates the humor. I'm like, okay, uh, this is not for me then. I'm also not exactly looking for more excuses to watch TV. So, then there you go. This has been Artie's numerous hot takes about TV shows for the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I think we can all agree that Tom and Jerry was amazing, and The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh was fantastic, because neither of those shows overstayed their welcome. They were on for a, a good, a decent amount of time, they didn't get stale, and they, they were amazing. They were amazing. And also for Magic School Bus on there as well. Those shows stand the test of time. And Liberty's Kids! Liberty's Kids on PBS. Oh man, that show's good. That show is so good. So, so good. Anyways, we have reached the end of the stream. That stream was a lot more fun than the last several. Showdown was still annoying, but it didn't frustrate me as much. I've just learned I'm not going back to Showdown. I, I hate the final boss. It's super terrible. Alright, well... We'll be finishing up Sonic Heroes on Saturday. After that, though, part of me is wondering if I should continue streaming more Shovel Knight to do the speedruns of the New Game Pluses, or if I should kind of lay it to rest soon. Part of me is also debating streaming less until I can get a new job, because I feel like I need to be devoting more time to that, so I haven't made any final decisions on that yet, but it's something I'm throwing out there. As it, it might, there might be some changes in the future. But I'll keep you guys in the loop for that. And I do still enjoy streaming, so I want to keep doing it. So, thanks everybody for watching. It was great talking with you all. And I had a great time tonight. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. And God bless everyone.